As developers, we're all familiar with activities related to debugging. However, we probably only use the breakpoint option. But IntelliJ IDEA Debugger has some really powerful features that could save us a lot of time, making the debugging process easy and efficient. We've gathered a top list of tips that we hope will help you find and resolve bugs faster. Let's get started. This one is probably the most underutilized feature in debuggers and it's possibly one of the most effective ones. For example, in a loop you can define a breakpoint that will only stop on the actual bug, relieving you from manually going over iterations until you run into an issue. As an example, imagine that we have a function which calculates the sum of all expenses. At some point, this function throws null point exception within the for loop. To run it, we're going to use a unit test. Double press on the control key and then we enter the name of the test. Adding a check for null point exception here would probably solve the issue locally. However, to find the root cause and why a null value was accepted at the source, we should probably go deeper and find from where it came from. So, we should be able to inspect the current state of the virtual machine before it throws the null point exception. In the loop below, we added a breakpoint inside the loop. This means that the service will stop at every iteration. Instead, we want the service to stop only when the expense value is null. So, right click on the breakpoint and we add a stop condition. Notice that we can elaborate here and we can even invoke methods as part of the condition. To run the same test again in debug mode, we double press the control key and then hold the shift key. We see that it's the expense number 4 who got the null value for the amount. In real life applications, we'd go further with our investigation to verify how that happened. However, the conclusion here is that we should use conditional breakpoints to narrow down issues and save time. There is much more to breakpoints. We can right click on the breakpoint icon in the gutter and click on more. In the dialog that opens, we can modify the breakpoint so that it doesn't suspend the program execution when it's reached and instead just logs an expression. Let's log the value of the expense title and expense amount. We rerun the function And now, the code execution doesn't stop at the breakpoint. Instead, it logs to the console the expression that we defined. Breakpoints are placed on the lines of the code to stop the program and enable debugging. However, IntelliJ IDEA offers many types of breakpoints, including line breakpoint, method breakpoint, and exception breakpoint. An interesting kind of breakpoint is the one for exceptions. This breakpoint type suspends the program according to an exception type and not a predefined place. Therefore, we can define a breakpoint that will stop on a line that throws null point exception. Also, we have the possibility to filter the class or the package the exception is part of. In this way, we can ignore the exceptions that are thrown from files that belong to other libraries. For that, we'd have to define the package that has our project files. This will help to focus the analysis. However, in our case, the null point exception is thrown from the big decimal class. The field watch point is a type of breakpoint that suspends the program when the defined field is accessed or modified. 
This can be very helpful when you do investigations and find out that the field has a wrong value and you don't know why. Watching this field could help finding the fault origin. To set this breakpoint, we simply add it at the line of the desired field. Notice that instead of the usual red dot, we see a red eye. So, the program will suspend when the field is modified. Also, we can configure it to stop when the field is accessed. Here, we have the same function that calculates the total expenses, but this time we are using streams. Java 8 streams are cool to use, but notoriously hard to debug. Usually, Java 8 streams pack multiple functions into a single statement, so simply stepping over the statements with a debugger is impractical. Instead, we need a tool that can help us analyze what's going on inside the stream. IntelliJ IDEA has a brand new tool called the Stream Debugger. We can use this tool to inspect the results of the stream operations visually. So, when we hit the breakpoint on a stream, we press the stream debugger icon in the debugger. Now, we'll see the mapping of the stream elements at each stage of the stream. Thus, each step is visualized and we can see the operations in the stream and detect the problem. As it can be seen, it is also possible to interact with the stream debugger and click on elements. Normally, Java Streams optimizes away intermediary operations and merges these steps. However, when the stream debugger is used, no such optimizations take place and we are able to see all steps in the stream pipeline. In IntelliJ IDEA, we can change the behavior of our code without changing its source. This applies to any code defined by another API or framework tool. In our example, the expense number 4 as a null value for the amount, but we can change the value of the variable by right click and then select set value, new big decimal, and we set a dummy value. When we do this, the behavior of the code changes. With a modify value, the function doesn't throw null point exception anymore and it is able to calculate the sum.